proper protective equipment is absolutely necessary when working in any laboratory environment. Before entering the lab, we need to make sure to put on lab coat and protective glasses. Before and after we start our work, we need to wash our hands thoroughly. The appropriate hand washing technique includes several steps. While working in a microbiology lab, we will come in contact with many hazardous substances like pathogenic bacterial cultures. That's why wearing gloves is advisable. Working benches should be absolutely spotless before we even begin placing equipment on them. For this experiment, here we have the pet filler, the sterile pet, the Bunsen burner, the dye solution, the clear solution, and here we have paper to basically keep the table clean. A septic transfer of liquid from one test to another requires a lot of practice. We have to avoid spilling any material. The pipette itself at no point can come in contact with any surfaces, skin or pieces of clothing. Flaming tubes over the Bunsen minimizes the risk of contamination coming from air. It's time to tidy up. We need to make sure to leave the lab clean for others.